फोर क्वेश्चन टुडे ऑन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सरफेसिस इस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ए कोन ऑफ बेस फोर्टी एम एम डायमीटर एंड हाइट सिक्सटी एम एम रेस्ट विथ इट्स बेस ऑन एच पी ए सेक्शन प्लेन पैंडिकुलर टू वी पी एंड इनक्लाइंट एट थर्टी डिग्री टू एच पी बाइसेक्ट्स द एक्सेस ऑफ द कोन ड्रॉ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द लैटरल सरफेस ऑफ द ट्रंकेटेड कोन सो इन दिस केस वी हैव टू डू द डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल्सो ए सेक्शनल प्लेन इज कटिंग द कोन एट थर्टी डिग्री एट बाइसेक्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द एक्सेस सो लेट्स ड्रॉ टूगेदर so dia of the cone is 40 mm so we'll take its radius in the top view we'll open up compass and draw a circle whose diameter is 40 mm we'll mark its center with o then we will divide the circle into either eight parts or either 12 parts it's up to you so let me divide the circle into eight equal parts Divided the circle into eight equal parts. Next step is to name the each part. So let's start from here. So we'll keep this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and this is H. What next we need to do? We need to draw an X Y line so that we can make front view of the cone. So let's draw. X Y line here. Fine. So we need to bring these all points up to the X Y line. So let's do. So these li lines should be very light and thin because these are all projection lines. So here I am taking two generators B and H up to the X Y line. Now let's name these points. These are the points. This one. It in these these lines intersect this X Y line at these points. Let's name them because it has come from the A. So A will become A prime in the front view. So here, this is B and H. So B is visible if I look the front view from here. So B is visible and H is behind. So it will be B prime in brackets H prime. So next follows the same way. This A prime. What next we need to do? We need to measure its height. The height of the cone is 60 mm. So we we'll measure the height of the cone, which is 60 mm. So it has an apex. So let's mention because this apex is O. It will become O prime in the front view. 
what next we need to do we need to connect all these points this point with the o, o prime this point also with the o prime this point with the o prime part of the question is done now the second part it says that this auxiliary inclined plane cuts the axis at it bisects the axis at the middle so we need to find out the middle of the cone axis of the cone so middle is the axis was height was 60 the middle of it is that means 30 okay this is the middle point now what next we need to do we need to just draw an horizontal line at this point very thin and light line fine and it also says that axis is inclined to the HP at 30 degrees so let's draw that so we need to count 0 10 20 30 so 30 degree then next we need to connect central point and this 30 degree point and draw the auxiliary inclined cutting plane fine so this is my cutting plane now what next we need to do we need to find out the points so this cutting plane cut these generators at various points so this is a cutting point this one this one this one this one let's name them you know this generator that was a and o it is represented in the front view a prime o prime so it is only one single generator so we'll represent it with one prime fine then bo and oh so this point represents two generators that means this is two prime and this is three prime similarly this point represents two generators oc and og so that is 4 prime and 5 prime this point also represents two generators do and fo so that is 6 prime and 7 prime and e o is the only lone generator so that is our 8 prime okay what next we need to do out of these eight generators there are eight generators as you know one two three one two three four five six seven eight out of these eight generators only two generate generators are true those generators students are true which are exactly parallel to the xy line so which one are those two ao and oe so true length that is a O and O E so these are the two generators and, and they are also corresponding uh, in the front view we can see also then them in the front view that is O prime and A prime and O prime and E prime so these two generators are true generators so let's write so they are true generators these are the true lengths fine what next we need to do we need to produce this line let's produce this line this point so it's not necessary to produce this line but you can even produce this line or you can take any point from here so let's assume let's open up the compass keeping it on O prime and A prime because this is our true generator you know and this is the same one this is also our true generator fine so keep it on this line anywhere draw an arc we'll draw an arc because for the development we have to open up this cone this cone will look like a pie okay so we need to find out the uh, angle of the pie so angle of the pie is equal that is theta that is theta angle of the pi is equal 360 into radius 
of the base of cone divided by slant height so this is the formula by means of which we can find uh, find out uh, the theta that is the angle of the pi fine so let's calculate that so before going for that we need to know the slant height because we know the radius of the base because diameter was 40 so radius is 20 the slant height how we can fi find out that so if this is the height height of the cone is given which is 60 and radius is given but we need to find out the uh, radius so die is given so therefore the radius is how much students yes that is 20 now by using the Pythagoras theorem we can fi find out this slant height what I was looking for okay we have draw this arc keeping this point as O prime fine now what we have to do we have to use the protector and we have to mark this angle so that angle is how much 113.85 degrees so this is 10 this is this point is so what we need to do next we connect this with a line okay and we should also connect this okay now with us this is the pie which we were looking for now what next we need to do so this angle which we have calculated is theta which is equal to 113.85 degrees what next we need to do we need to divide this pi into how many equal parts yes how many equal parts that's eight equal parts so we will first divide this into two parts then simultaneously in equal eight parts so it should be like this So we've got a point here. Similar means we got the the spy divided into eight, eight equal parts. Let's mention the name of each part. So it was we'll start with A. So let's keep this A capital A. We'll keep it B C D. E F G H and this again A fine so what next because it has a, a sectional plane which is cutting at a cone so what we need to do because these points it lies on the true length and this point also lies on the true length but rest of the points lies on the generators and which are not true so we need to bring them these all points up to the true length so what we will do we'll draw a horizontal line from the point to the true generator so we got this point similarly here also we got this point similarly this point so we got these three points we took them up to the up to which generator up to true generator which has a true length so let's mention them the names we'll keep this as one this is two and this is three so these three points we got fine so what next we need to do we need to mark these points to the pi here so what we have to keep the compass here we'll mark the first point we have to open up up to one prime this length fine students so it is cutting 
the generator one hair and hair fine students so let's mark them this is my one and this is also my one so let's take the second point this point now I'm talking about it is cutting two generators that is two prime and three prime this point so let's keep the one leg of the compass here and another leg here right students so let's cut this and this so we got this point and this point it was representing two prime two and three is eight because it's lying on the true length so we need not shift it to the other side so we'll measure it from there only fine so let's mark this also so this is my eight what next we need to do we need to join these all points with a freehand curve with a freehand R so let me join okay this is the portion which you need to darken students this is the portion which you need to darken rest of the portion should be light the same way this portion which is the cut off portion should be light and the portion which is below this cutting line should be darker and this also should be darker i hope you understood this question and thanks for watching do write and comment i will try to answer your questions and queries in the best possible manner Thank you very much.